Two, two, one, go. I have heard so many things about what you have been engaged with in your past that brought you to the point you are today in, in your, your fight in, in this, you know, freedom movement or whatever. And I would like for, you know, the folks that may not know you that are kind of new to you that are joining my call tonight, I'd like, I'd like for you to, uh, you know, just kind of bring us up to date on what you have done, what, what your experiences are, you know, uh, and what brought you to the point you're at today. Well, I started out in sociology, and I, I got degreed, which are bullshit degrees. Um, everybody needs to realize this now because we're all indoctrinated. Um, I went into psychology. I got some bullshit degrees in psychology. Um, I have a doctoral a PhD in, in metaphysics. Um, I, I have degrees in, in political science. And, again, they're all bullshit degrees because we're all indoctrinated. But at some point uh, throughout everything, you, I realized exactly what's going on. And, and so we started um, writing to obliterate the writing or, or the the fencing mechanism, the psychological fences that are around us at this time, and um, so far so good. I mean, uh, that we've, we've all been through a lot, and it takes a lot to get to the point where you realize that um, what you're patriotic to is not something that's protecting you, but it's something that's preying on you. And and um, no, I, I really I don't like to um, associate myself anymore with any of the titles because. Um, like I said, when I went through the uh, sociology, I had no clue. I was still in the system. I was still playing the system's game. I was still, um, you know, looking at sex for a while, thinking it was a good thing. Um, again, with psychology, I thought, well, you know, um, that was a good thing, and, and it's actually what what blinds us. Um, that's what Babylonian theory is. It's a it's a use of psychology and creation of culture and language and, and patriotism to something that's preying on you. And um, really, it wasn't until, um, I've been doing this about 12 years, um, but it wasn't until about five years ago or so when everything started clicking. And I didn't start writing until about two years ago. And since then, we've been able to facilitate the indictments, uh, facilitate the voids, uh, facilitate everything that we need. We're just now doing the writs of execution and writs of uh, air ashes. Um, what we want to do is we want to get back to being, um, what we've realized now is, um, each time, I mean, we're bought and sold, we're traded, we're negotiated, everybody realizes this now, but it goes so deep. And, um, when, when we're held in, in the, in the action of a taint, we're being held in the taint for various reasons. And one of them is felony. We're, we're considered felons. And we knew this, but for the longest time, I couldn't find how they're continuing this or, or how they're doing this. You know, besides the um, Sister Kim Act, there has to be some kind of cause. Well, then we were looking around at posting. Um, so you have an address. In the beginning, um, I was involved in child advocacy, and then I realized, um, well, that was, I realized quite quickly that men are falsely accused of numerous things and at that time I was just assuming that it, you know damn females you know and I, and I was blaming these females and, and not the, the original culprit which is feminism itself so I did a lot of work in anti-misandry and um, men's rights so I started on child advocacy and quickly I went into men's rights and father's rights anti-misandry um, you name it because of the what was going on and, and still I didn't realize that it was not so much the females that were involved in these cases, something was making, their behavior was reactionary. So something was pushing them into doing what they were doing. And, and so I started studying more into the action of feminism, more into the actions of masculism, um, more into politics. And, and at that time, I, you know, that's when I had the sociology and psychology degrees. I didn't, I didn't like politics. Um, so when I finally went into the politics of the game, that, that's when I realized why men are, are vilified, why they are falsely accused, why they are subjugated. And it, and it is the um, metaphor, the biblical metaphor of removing all the first one sons. In order to, um, for anything or any entity to prey on a society, they have to remove the male. Otherwise, the male would stand up and protect the society. That's, that's your instinct. And um, 
what you, why they are subjugated, and it, and it is the um, metaphor, the biblical metaphor of removing all the firstborn sons. In order to, um, for anything or any entity to prey on a society, they have to remove the male. Otherwise, the male would stand up and protect the society. That's, that's your instinct. And um, what you've been taught now is different than instinct. You've been taught chivalry. And so what that means is that you can have um, a female that's not really a female. Uh, she's a male-minded female with um, usually more testosterone than you have because she's a social creation. Um, she's got, fully loaded with norepinephrine as well as having low impulse control, which is a female trait anyway, a natural female uh, trait. And you're being garnered by that female playing the victim, and you believe she's female, and so you run in there to save her, it's like a knight in shining armor, and, and I've got that, that article from where I wrote it years ago. Um, but in, an, in any other biology, no other biology does that. You can't, you know, there, there would never in, in any other biology be a herd of, of um, animals walking by a female that's crying because she broke a nail, nobody would stop, you know, or her hair hurts or whatever else, or, or whining about cramps or whatever else. You're not going to stop because it's at the detriment of the herd to do that. No other biology is chivalrous. It's, it's instinct for you to protect, but chivalry is taught to you. It's a social mechanism and it's social engineering. And so when you realize what you've been doing in you, all this time, you've been saving that female. I'm a victim of child abuse or I'm a victim of spousal abuse. Well, you run in there and you're the one no, that's helping to falsely accuse like the other guy when she wants something. to get out of the relationship. I'd like you to think about the black communities. There aren't any communities within what they call black people. I want you to think about your homes, your surroundings, your neighbors. I want you to think about how she states you have physical women. They have the genes of women, but they have the mentality of men. Now, there's, there's an ongoing outcry about, about the women that are melanated. What? Not taking the role of feminality. So think about what she said, right? So now, because of chivalry, right? Cops are called. They don't give a shit what's happened. Get the dude. Oh, she smacked me. She punched me. He pushed me. Get him. Right? Hey, hey, you know it exists like this. To, to argue against it is just a waste of effort. All right? I'm not saying you, the individual, blah, blah, blah. Look at how everything plays out within society. There is no system. It's just people. The system that you think is over you was not over you. It left. It went bankrupt in, in, in 1844. Walgreens came in and took their fucking place. You got to understand what's going on. What all this truly means. And, and that's, that's what the human ease is. She's, she's adhering to social engineering. It's just so simple for her to walk away now with the children. And you help her do that because then your instinct kicks in on top of chivalry. That's how you're able to be falsely accused and you have no clue. You know, so, so we're repeating these cyclical patterns. And it's over and over and over and over again. And, and, and then you're going to be falsely accused. So it's just politics. It, it would appear as so, though, you know, you, you become kind of sensitive to the, to the men's side of things on, on a lot of this, uh, these issues in, in court. Uh, no, not also the, okay, but also the female's perspective. You know, we have this whole whole implementation of feminism. This is this is the dyke female speaking on my behalf. She's not a natural female. She's speaking on my behalf, so she's taking my voice by being the financial louder and to be financially she's louder right, than I am because um, understand she's what she's less saying. than she I am. Valid. Uh, the, 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 the traditional relationship that is speaking for women 
of traditional relationships. Hey, let's 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 take this up a notch. <clears throat> All right, All right. people with SLC two four A five. Neanderthals as well are sitting in these judge chairs and they're not even judges. They're they're corporate tax collectors. You drive through their area, they pull your ass over to rebuild their cities with your brown dollar. When you sit in these these small suburbs and you look around and you only see black people and you can guarantee those black people do not live in that suburb. You are being stripped of your funds, your fe your federal fake dollars to pay for their lights, their electricity, to pay for the, for what? The judge's daughter to get by the prom date. You're paying for the, you're paying for the limo. You're paying for the corsage. You're pay, you know you're paying for the prom dress. All this, and why do I say prom? This is all the extra. You already paid for the judge's fishing trip. You and the thousand other black people that went in front of him that day, because remember, they're black, and he's white, right? Because this is the game that they're playing, because what? In 1844, America went broke. There ain't no more Americans. You've got to be treated specially to be an American, everybody else is a U.S. citizen. And that police officer, he's a foreigner. His own documents say he's a foreigner. He works for the U.N. Yes, I think the computer just started laughing. Uh, the story of Tammy Perkman. We're going to go for about uh, 45 more seconds and we're going to.
here. Well, yeah, I would have to say that everyone had common sense today. So, uh, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope things are going in uh, a smooth uh, direction. I hope your uh, path is clearing up. All right. I hope all you Ephraimites are. So, how many people are ready to go back home? Hmm? We got a series of events. Probably take us about 10 to 20 years to do. Right, and then we can go home, right? Yeah, hope you're ready. Yeah, so this is story of Tammy Peppermint, part one. Um, part two follows up. It's uh, Peppermint, uh, right there, story of Tammy Peppermint, part two. All right, we listened to somewhere around 104 uh, to about 20 minutes into this one yesterday. That was what we listened to yesterday so show you a few things gonna do this one again this is this is crucial now we learned a few things what happens when we push play again All right, so obviously a lot of people are asking, well, what do we do about the SESTA queue? And I believe these are the answers, right? This is why it's flashed on the bottom of the screen as if we're all supposed to understand it just right away, right? Uh, again, Tammy has a way uh, that she views as correct. Everybody has a way that they view as correct. But again, until anybody has completed it, you know, we're open to all options and informations on the table, right? So again, what we would be looking for is a settlement order, right? Because we want to settle the debt, right? So, what's, what are you going to be asking? All right. This is crucial because it's all about what? Chronological order, right? He told us in the first place, we're looking to settle. We want to settle the account. So, we're looking for settlement or settlement forms to settle the account. Something of that nature, right? Now, do you see what's going on? They're the king and you're the debtor. This is why a lot of people are play around, uh, excuse me, not play around, but attempt to do the secure party to creditor, to become the creditor, not the debtor. Okay. Now, listen again. You're the debtor. 
So the secure party creditor process makes you the creditor, okay? Because again, I'm going to argue this uh, till the day they 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 they, they, uh, they tell the truth. You know, I'm pretty sure that everybody here is a slave. And when these people reach a high rank in their masonry, they're free. Now, somebody's got to be free to free somebody else. So you're not going to get to the top and then be free. Somebody at the top's already got to be free to free you. So it would seem the top of these organizations are free people, and what they do is they free themselves through the SESTA queue. This is why they stated they're seeing if you know what you're doing. They're seeing if you're a lawyer or you have the knowledge of the lawyer or you have the knowledge of what? The brotherhood. This is why the boys in blue, although they're dumb people that used to play football and sports and stuff like that, right? Glorified fight cooks. That's what my buddy always tells me. All right? And they understand the trust process and they understand you are leasing your name. Cadillacs, we're going to make it rain. Now think about this shit. This is what they taught you to do through your new entertainment. It's not your culture. Your culture is not to be wasteful. Your culture is not to want, 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 but blow the money that you could have used as a resource to create, create, create. We were a great people. We abandoned our creator. He brought these people here to drive us to angry at how stupid they are. You saw it in scripture. You pick the book you want to read from, and it's there. You see what these people are doing. They're not acting lawful. They're not acting just. They are illegally pulling laws out of their butt and then charging you for them. And they haven't had the authority to do this because they have not been backed by the Constitution because of what law they choose to use. Because we're not using public law we're using private law, which is not backed by public policy. Now, do you see that? God damn it. I didn't read this. I'm just brainwashed now. Why do you think I played it so many times for you? Over and over and over and over. Because I want you to be able to you have the same ability. We're like walking tape recorders. We have something that they don't have. They are the hands of the Lord. We are the mouth of the Lord. We don't move our hands for miracles. They move their hands for miracles. It looks hysterical. We, blah, 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 blah. Now they've controlled what our mouthpieces do. That guy's over there rapping about the Bible. We'll get five more guys to rap about vagina. 
get two more guys to rap about drugs. Get one more guy to rap about sodomy. And they'll drown out that guy rapping about the Bible. Now, you tell me off the top of your head. The greatest rapper. Type in the name that came to your mind. And I'll show you the spell. Because it's easy to see. They don't want you to do drugs, but they don't want to hire you. They definitely don't want you to sell drugs. So they get the rapper to teach you how to sell drugs, to teach you how to make cocaine, I mean, uh, 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 crack from scratch. You boil it to its temperature. You mix it with this. You got to cut it with something or you're wasting product, right? How do you learn that through music? How do you learn when to run through movies? through TV how do you learn not to talk everybody else turns on each other for deals for freedom but they taught you not to talk so you do the full time everybody else wants their freedom and you do the full time and while you're in there they do what they rape you so then you come out and you're buying the fucking CD from that one rapper that raps about gay shit and you're like, why? Well, you know why, because it's a program. And you just went through the ringer. And that's what it's all about, you going through the ringer. Because you don't understand what jurisdiction is. When they say jurisdiction, you talk about jury, give me a jury trial and shit. This is the mentality of you. This is the mentality that you're in school with. While the girl's over there saying, I'm going to get that motherfucker to knock me up and he going to pay me for life. I'm going to take him two years later. While she's making her career. Now, all the other nations want to go to college. They want to do this. They want to do that. And why do you think these were the things that were specifically talked about by the poorest of us? Because it's scheduled, like a doctor's dose. When we take the father away, all the others will see it. When we broadcast that we took the father away, all the others will know. They'll give the women a feminism, a, a, a ego of feminism. You'll do what I say, because if I sit here and argue with you, I'll push you and make you punch me. And then when you punch me, I'll call the knights in shiny armor. And they'll drag your ass out, and I'll never let you back in, and then I can have what? The state be my daddy, right? And we saw what happens. So dad's gone, now you have to find some patriotism. You have to fill that empty glass with something to form some kind of constitution. Or you're just empty shit walking around, right? No idea what to do with your life, where you're going to go, what you're going to be. Because dad had dreams for you. My son's going to do this, my son's going to do that. But the government tricked mom into pushing him out. And the government said, I'll be there for you, baby. Sign these documents. And she did. Now you're in the ring. And don't you see it's all about you? With the male gone, with the rooster gone, there's no one there to protect the eggs of the hen. It's not about the hen. It's about the eggs. What does the farmer take every morning? Does he take the rooster? Does he take the hen? Or does he take the eggs? Hmm? Don't they take black people at night? Don't you, know, don't you see the, the cops, the cop sirens flashing at night to scare you? Be cool or they're going to get you too, right? It's all a mentality, just drilling away. Just drilling away at you.
fear, fear, fear. They're coming for you. Purge, coming for you. Purge, FEMA, fuck it, right? All these things, all accumulating, putting you through the cycle, right? Always tense, right? In Israel, a drop of a feather, right? A drop of a leaf will make him jump. Right? Come on, Ephraim is Israel. Judah. Judah's not like this. They're going through something different. Ephraim is a home-born slave. I'm here on fucking TV, broadcasting to the world, the poor to poor on a fucking laptop. They'll never hear my fucking tears while I sit next to fucking fans and books and fucking DVDs. I don't have that. No. Flat screen TVs. Homeborn slave. Oh, my cell phone's going off. Oh, yeah, whatever. You know? Oh, it, it, we're homeborn slave. All right. Come on. Jacob's trouble. So, did you hear that? The straw man account is what? Social security. Right? Or your EIN number. That is the whole Now, I'm doing this because clearly, if you go back uh, a few months ago, there's clearly videos that I'm like, hey, we need a discharge. Hey, we need a discharge. And we can't do that without access to the, the, the trust. Okay, so, um, you know, as we learn, you know, we're just correcting a few things that we just, uh, you, know, you know, untwisting some things that were twisted.
so you, you did hear that, right? You, you take care of what debt? I'm going to go back. Remember, bankruptcy, right? Huh? Eh? Well, what? What? Okay, so <laughs> you mean to tell me these people come over here, attack us, like, you know, while we're doing whatever we're doing, yeah, poison us, steal our land, enslave us, force us into a system that was implemented on them by past kings that they ran away from, finding out that they were enslaved, and then they came over and enslaved other people as if they didn't learn from what had happened to them. Fighting off their masters, they went into bankruptcy, and then other masters came over and bought them out, enslaving everybody again. And you, you're telling me I gotta pay their fucking war debt? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need you to say that. I'm gonna. I mean, I mean, you say that face to face with with a little bit, a little bit of explanation. Please. you all to understand I don't give a care about your hopes or your dreams your new house your swimming pool your 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 pool table engraved with names or diamonds and shit I don't, I don't care I hope you got the concept that there is an account. The idea is to settle the account. The knowledge of where the account is, the DTC, the depository, of how to access the account, whether it's through probate or through treasury, uh, we're moving closer towards. Every day, we're getting closer and closer.
do you think we really went to the moon? All right, you know how people are. Fucking ask questions. We got nothing to do with what's the moon saying. I didn't pre screen this. Declaration of person entitled to payment. Evidence of life declaration of person entitled to payment. Oh, there we have it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Form what? 206 form. So we should be able to type all this in and it should be able to come up on Google. So obviously there's it's not gonna be a narrator. Alright, so when you look at SestaQ, it says remaining beyond sea for seven years together and no proof of their lives, judge in action to direct a verdict as though Sister QV were dead. All right, if such person or persons for whose life or lives such estates, state estates have been or shall be granted as foresaid shall remaining beyond the sea. So if you are lost at sea or elsewhere, or you are lost elsewhere, you were you're on a boat, your mama. She went to dock. She breached. You came out. You were lost. Cargo package lost. I think we lost you in the mail room. But, you know, uh, as you got those tickets, as you went to school and got these grades, we couldn't find you, all those forms that's in your name when you signed up for Social Security uh, 18 years after your birth, we couldn't find you either, you know, um, we had a search party out and with all those forms you kept signing over all that time, we couldn't find you, and then when you got all those tickets, it was, it was really hard to discover if you would ever reach land or not you know um there's a lot of people with your name but not with your numbers even though your numbers come back to this account we still couldn't find you and when you got your third driver's license it was harder to see if you still were on the land uh fraud 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 can you say fraud? Let's spell it fraud together. Let's let's do it importantly. Let's start with a capital. Capital F R A U D Fraud. So all of us visa payments, right? Child support lost. All this, it comes in the mail, and you're going to still tell me I'm lost at sea. Or elsewhere absent themselves well that cop could find me for that ticket in this realm oh look the look how they say hey, look realms hey they they push those fairies to one realm they push those gnomes to another realm they know where those fairies are they know where those gnomes are but I got a speeding ticket and they don't know where I am By the space of seven years together and no sufficient 
and evident proof be made of lives of such person or persons respectively by any action commenced for recovery of such tenements by the lessers or revisioners in every such case the person or person whose life or lives such a state depends upon excuse me shall be accounts excuse me depend dependent shall be accounted as naturally dead so if you didn't go and jump through the hoop the special way you are you you are officially naturally dead you are accounted for officially as naturally dead you you naturally died all these mail that you get hey oh my god i'm just gonna i'm gonna break my own computer you're never gonna see this video and in every action brought forth for the recovery of the said tenements by the lessers or revisioners their heirs or assignees look at that so i can go and i can vouch i'm an heir i can go vouch for all my 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 dead ancestors that were lost at sea The judges before whom such actions shall be brought shall direct the jury to give their verdict as if the person she remains beyond the seas or otherwise absent himself were dead. Skip to the next part, guys. All right, I'm still I'm still learning this process. Everybody's still learning this process. When did you upload this? How long have you been learning? Huh? Hey. Oh, 2014. So you had like four years, right? Ooh, I'm sure you got it now, right? Still learning this process, so I'm no expert. I didn't think I was important. It was important to start to get this out there for others to start looking into it. All right, here's the form we need to claim to be a living person. It's form 206, evidence of life. All right, let's see. Pardon me, that was a weird burp. Form 206, F oh wow, it just pops up. Oh. You've been looking for me. Oh, I know I'm looking for you. Notice of deep sea, I'm sidetracked. Oh man, it's all part of one. Ow, oh, see? It's a deed, baby. RTF, PDF, oh, I'm going back to scribe. I don't know, man. I have to look at all these. Roar. Told you I'd find something. Shit, man. Nigga Jones here, man. I'm fine. Find the lost stuff, man. People lost? No, oh, people ain't lost. Is it? Form 206. Please use block capitals. Full account title. My in legis, my straw man account, right? So can you type in that shit? No, you got to download it and then start typing. Oh, man. On the date of yesterday, I typed on this. All right, to the accountant general. All right, the general accountant to the accountant general court fund uh, king's house. Oh, you, oh shit! You sent this to London. This goes, this goes off to the pond, huh? To a little stretch of stink, stink. All right. Insert full name of patent new patents. Cross out words not applicable. Oh, I, I, I are sick. Are, are curse words? I, I'm gonna write them in then and cross them out. Can't believe you fucking did this to me. If I ever no, I'm just joking, I don't wanna these are these are official forms. I don't wanna make any any jokes that could be taken incorrectly in such a political environment. Declared before me Claire Clarice. This declaration should be witnessed by a person who knows the de declarant personally and who is a member of the parliament, minister of religion, doctor, lawyer, bank manager, or, oh, sweet, taking it.
taking it to Chase Bank, dragging dragging my wife and mom in. No, I'm just joking. This declaration should not be witnessed by a relative of the def declarant. Ooh. You got to personally know somebody but not be a family member. All these stipulations. Jump through my hoop, man. All right. See, now I'm sidetracked, sidetracked. Scroll back up. You know, you know how I guess it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have I think we have what we're looking for. Hello, Chief. We're ready to be freed. So, I'm going to say this. Go ahead and figure out a way to get your PDF of Form 206. Okay? There's, there's a fan over in the corner just blowing on me, so it's just kind of bothering my eyes. All right, so now, of course, I know that you went to school in the city. I went to school in the city, so I get it. So take your form and go down to the law library on the pro bono disc and get free lawyer to help you fill out this page. Okay, we done? I think we're done. I was, I was had a dream. There was a gate. And there was black people on the gate, and they were looking at me, and they were like, "Let me get in here now." It was around. Bye. Should I run this out? I'm just playing.